and the yellow butterfly from looks similar to the ones in Zelda actually. Gone, can you hear them? I can have heard. Voices of the wind and the trees and animals. I can just hear that. Welcome to Nolan Village House. Alright, oh, alright. So, there is a lot to go over and search this time. Basically, as I said before, you have to pick up the pieces of the town. Place it, build the town back up piece by piece. By doing that, you can restore your village, get items, and if you do it properly, and make people press so someone says they prefer you know the rest of the houses in such and such press and can make them all better. And by doing that, you can get rewarded and get some pretty cool items. First let's go to the apparently the only place the genie decided not to blow up, which is kind of weird. Like I said, there's people at the start, you never see them again, there was I think they were just stuck sprites because I've never seen them in the game, I don't know, it's never explained where it is. Where they are, what happened to them, so I'm assuming they haven't got killed and they're just stuck sprites. Oh, hello there. Ah, gone you're alive. Yes I am. Seems like we're the only ones in the village tribe. We never dreamt this had happened. Oh, no. One night in our village are gone. Can you believe it's gone? Well, I suppose I have to admit it. It's clearly outside. Why the mayor of this village can't mention it? Well, I got told by a weird fairy dude that I can restore the village, so maybe I can help. I guess the only thing we can do. So we didn't do that in the first place. Okay, so where was this? Where was this guardian when we got to Avena? Okay, the divine beast cave. Well, I'm assuming you would already know. Yeah, I know what the cave is. Something that's a ch what could have changed? I wouldn't need. Could it be monsters? Here's the cave key. We now have the cave key. Which is pretty much a one use item. As soon as you open the cave, you don't really need the key to, to have the key, so it's just space. Now, at the moment, there has just been another update on this game. I think they've upscaled the actual graphics again. Because this does look quite a bit more quite a bit sharper. So I'm gonna to do this quick hand shots, but you've got basically in this game you've got food which will give you your health. You have a first meter. Um it's the only game I know which has like a first meter. So basically if when you're running around the dungeon fight you obviously get very tired and first in more first you get the I don't think it's more first you get the less damage you do, but the more first you get the more less more chance you've got of, you know, getting that first day you're actually taking damage, as in real life, if you don't drink for ages and ages, you can die. So, if you take too, too much damage, you don't die, you go unconscious, so it's good to keep water with you. Uh, bread is like food, so it keeps your health, keeps your health up, and this is antidote now. You, until you get a semi-decent weapon, you really need this dungeon, because some, some enemies that are really annoying, that are really easy to kill, but and then there's your basic weapon, your dagger. You can get better, much better weapons, that's like the default weapon. You, you never lose it, but it, it's crap, basically. You can get better, much better weapons than upload, and there's so much to do about that. Now, if you go in here... Expect a book somewhere. Get it quickly, randomly. I don't know why you get it if you go in there, but it's a fish bait and you can't even use it, but it's good for selling it when you get the shop. But I will be trying not using the broken dagger glitch, which is a way you can really pack your weapons quickly. The, if you see the top, the aluminium stone at the top acts like a clock, so I think right now it's, it's not quite morning, I think it's Because there's certain things you've got morning, afternoon, dusk, which is a which is a time 
where you can get certain fish. No. Basement one. You see there's eight up by there we need to pick up. And we bump into fairy dude again. Go. What? There he is. He basically explains how the dungeon works, so... To get to the next floor of the dungeon, you need to find a gate key. The gate key is held by monsters. However, it doesn't tell you that certain monsters will not give you the game key. Cause the gate key. And this gate key is transgressed, it's different. He then tells you if uh, you want to leave the dungeon without the gate key, you can uh, mind connect with him. But to do that, you you can only to do that. He will do that. But the only way you can do that is it says you can't do it if there's monsters on the floor, but when you can do it, you'll just lose half your money. If you have escape power, you don't lose half your money. And it also says when you go when you get to the next floor, you can get, you can get there. Now weapons. As I've just explained, you can get weapons, but you can get better weapons that will break, and weapons can break. Now if a weapon breaks, you lost it forever, it doesn't have on a dagger. But when you're building a weapon up for so long, believe me, from experience, if you've been building it up for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and putting more and more stuff into it. Fanter and resist pieces, fair enough. And if imagine if you'd been building like I've I've done times when I play this game back in the day and I've made a built a weapon so far up and then it just broke and it's disappeared and all that progress you made all time spent is lost. Now, this is a cave, but this is the one that can cause you. Now, I'm going to ignore it because I don't have a weapon that I want to get experience on. Because I've got only just free experience, but about one of those certain types of enemies that does not ever drop the gate key. Because a bat is an type of enemy I like to call a non-dropper because it won't drop a gate key, but it won't drop an item. Like, certain enemies will drop items randomly, and if you throw an attack item that's effective, it'll always drop an item, but bats and goat, if it's a divine piece of gear, will never drop items. You can steal, if you have a steal ability, you can steal items, but you can't ever get the gate key or it, so it will never drop it. See, this is crap, that's took 4 HP off my weapon, it's just... I'm just waiting to get a better weapon. Oh, and lucky, lucky gun drops. I get a bloody weapon chance right off the bat. No, I don't want to talk to you. No, I don't. Steve is something good. It's what? Forcing it me up the Now, with this, if you've got a treasure chest key, you don't even dare bother using it because the thing with this is, you get to guess the trap. Now, the thing is, if it's an explosion, it, unlike the second game, it, the box, the chest will still be there, and if it also if it drops an explosion, you can run away when it says it drops an explosion and it's not get hurt. The other two is for random, but you can create a fish which later on, which makes a treasure chest even get some pointless because the fish it says you'll get back in a status thing that'll say it'll tell you which trap it is. I'm gonna go over poison, and it would be a curse. Of course, it bloody would be a curse. The thing is, that just really doesn't help. I should have because now I can't train the weapon. This something that's really good. Yep, something that's really good. That is a tier 2 weapon. And it's quite rare in some fire sometimes. And I could really do with that. And I get so it's just like that. I'm annoyed with that. I must I hope I get some something that can feel like that. No. It's just curious at the top, that is a status effect. Spike in Pokemon, you can get poison and power like whoa. Oh like you get them in this game. There's several status effects. One of them is positive, so if it's a stamina, it's positive it gives you like a double to your defensive power and double your attacking power. These screens also well, not the stream, I mean I'm feeling the actual boss pull. They'll fully heal you and fully heal them first. But a stamina status effect is good and you can get get that stamina powered up, stamina drink or with a random effect spot. 
A cursed effect is very, very annoying because it means, well, it can be annoying unless you've got a really good weapon. It means you can't change your weapon, so I'll show you. I want to change this Shamshi, which is a T2 weapon, it's so much more powerful, but due to the curse, I can't, I'm not allowed to. The other effects are stop, which lasts for a short time, which will freeze in place long enough to hurt you. Uh, your poison, which is what the bats do, you can heal out the bad notes. Um, no, it's not, sorry, it's not stop, it's freeze. I don't think there's another one. Oh yeah, there's goo. Now, while that sign's a bit naughty, it basically slows you down, and it, that's also quite annoying. Macho's house. Go away about it, I don't want to talk to you. I don't really need to hit, fight any enemies now. Because I'm so annoyed of it. Maybe if I find the effects where I go. Oh, bugger off bats, you know any better. Uh. This is one of the things I was playing about this game. This game is extremely unique. The game is quite randomised in the fact that every playthrough will be different, sort of different. So like, for instance, I've done about 3 or 4 playthroughs the last week, and some playthroughs, on you'll get really unlucky with weapon drops for certain characters. And then some playthroughs, you'll be really unlucky like that. I'm sure I've just got about one playthrough where I've got loads of them all at once. And then another one where they're quite hard to get older, so it randomizes the dropping rate of stuff as well as much else. So that's why it kind of sits so you never get the same same play experience twice, and that's really cool. So it's like you're not playing the same game. Unlike Dark Chronicle, which doesn't do that. Not pretty useless. Regular water, I use No, don't hit me. Macho. Uh, too weak to be gangbang. Right. See, I know I'm ignoring him, but there's no point in trying to build my dog up, especially one of you now got a champ here. Bugger off. I did that one out of time, right? It's the exit. Stone break. That is an attachment I can use to put on my weapon. Which I'll yeah, explain some beast points with a. And we're going to be really, really cheeky in con the mayor, kind of. Because if you... The mayor will give you items for free. Unfortunately, get a shot. And this is where we have a glitch in the UK version. Because he continues to walk around now. For some reason, in the... UK version. It's, um... Quite glitchy, so you'll carry on like just walking on them. Like. Whereas in the US version, it doesn't do that, you know, the animation's fine. This is just the, the tutorial I mentioned earlier about all the build, how you build up the houses and everything. No, really, do. And there's a manual he gives you, which is pretty much useless and just takes up space. Start building the town, but I don't want. To. In fact, well, we've just got matches, so there's no point really building it up. It's 
not. But yes, item spawning in the town. Let's just go down and 